Cavs talk here on this edition of NHL Weird. Now. I know, coincidence, Weird. we think not. Last week, the Avalanche welcomed back their alumni, including Sean Podine, Pierre Tergeron, oh, I believe. Thank you. I am Rick Barry, John Michael Lyles, of course. And that fourth guy in the middle, you might recognize him. Multi-platinum singer-songwriter and a huge hockey fan. Also a hockey dad, Dirk Bentley, who joins the show. Dirk, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Oh, man, I watch you guys all the time, so this is pretty cool to be on the show. I get a lot of street cred. My, uh, my, 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 the guys I play hockey with back here, all my beer league guys are going to be freaking out. <laughs> <Hello. Thank you. laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh, it's unreal. Well, I'm a, I'm a big fan of yours, have been since I was in, I think, in college. Uh, I want to tell you a quick thing. I got traded to Nashville in 2019. Yeah. Of course. And it was great. It was awesome. Everything about it was a, was a blast, except for the one thing I heard at the beginning of the season, Ryan Johansson had a party at his house, I believe, that oh, yeah. you attended. Do you remember yeah, that? I did. Yeah, I sure do. It was the beginning of the season, and uh, I got called over to say a few words and uh, try to – it was just a fun way for the team to kind of get together before the, the season started to kind of get some goodwill started. I got a chance to be part of it and uh, say a few – Say a few things, but it's pretty fun. Yeah, pretty cool party there. And I missed it. I wasn't Where there yet. Where were you? I was still in New Jersey. Oh, dude, you missed Just out. grinding. I got traded well. to Nashville, too, but my two months sucked. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't any, that was no one's fault but my own. You didn't get to meet Dirk? No, I didn't. I met him later. Oh, so you uh, got to meet him, too. Yeah, I get to All right, well, I get to meet you now on the TV. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm a huge fan of the show, and I appreciate you guys ha having me on. So, yeah, that was a lot of fun, and uh, it was a, definitely a highlight being out there that, at Ryan's house. Oh, so, listen. yeah, the fandom is mutual. Go ahead. Yeah, going in, continuing on uh, with that meeting you, the chance that I did get to meet you, uh, 2016 All-Star Game, you participated in the skills competition, and I was able to meet you in the, in the hallway there, and our, our kids kind of hung out and talked. And then you went out on the ice and had a pretty nice goal. So talk us through one while you were feeling before you went out. <laughs> And then one after you executed oh, the goal oh, here. Here we go. We got video. There's my son right there on the wall. And uh, Neil, I went to the wrong side. James wanted me to go down the left. I went to the right. But I had it. You know, luckily, the goalie kind of dived out of the way. And uh, we got her done. Nothing like ice skates and skinny jeans. It's not a very good look. But I didn't. <laughs> the off-handed one-timer, though. That's a difficult uh, execution. That was nice. Not bad. I, I gave the, uh, I, you know. Slip the goal a little bit of money before the shot there, but yeah, that was a that was a big <laughs> deal shot. for Nashville. That was such a cool, cool thing for Nashville to have that um, have that here. It was kind of you know the, right in the middle, and we were really making some great playoff runs, and people were trying to figure out what hockey was in Nashville, and uh, just seeing the excitement and seeing more gold being worn as we went deeper into the playoffs, and uh, that was but that was a, a really lot of fun. And James, <laughs> <laughs> me and Luke Bryan, uh, yeah, I mean it's it's you guys have been there. It's a great rink. I mean it's right in the middle yeah. of downtown and. It's a fun place to play hockey, and uh, and it's for, for it's a fun place to go as a fan too. So that was a that was a highlight for sure. Yeah, I was gonna say Bridgestone Arena is absolutely electric, Bananas. especially it is electric. Uh, during the this is amazing. season. Yeah, wow. it, it really is. This crowd's the gonna be electric. Yeah, Dirk, that's an inside joke we have here. <laughs> that, that's our boy during uh, All Star festivities. No, Winter Classic yeah. actually out in Seattle. Yeah, the but Winter Classic was amazing here too. Right, everything was amazing there. I've been told yeah. I'm from Colorado. I covered the Avs that I know I could be. Well, I'm Everyone knows I could be Barbara Walters back there. But if I lived in Nashville, I'd be like noodling for my lunch, living in an alleyway. No, no, I have no. Way you, too you, much fun there. You'd be a welcome addition to the town if you came out here, Lauren. But uh, I'll trade you. You can come here, and I'll go live in in, uh, in Denver. That'd be that'd be great. I do love Colorado. But um, yeah, that was uh, that was so so cool. The Winter Classic. Uh, Miranda Lambert and I both performed at the show and uh just i mean it's a great town for hockey because it has a lot of entertainment too you know it's one of these places where you could have someone like i could be singing the national anthem and the kings of leon could be up there waving a the towel i mean <laughs> kill or somebody I mean, there's just a lot of people that live here that love hockey a lot of country singers a lot of rock and pop people that live here that love the sport so it makes some, some cool games to see who's going to show up at, uh that day you know well, why do you think that is, Dirk? And what what got you into hockey? I mean, I got down there and played, and that building was different than any building I'd played in. I played in the Garden in New York. I was in Tampa. We had a great fan base, and then I'm in Nashville, expecting excitement. These people know the game. They love the game, and they're loud. And you you love the game yeah. as well. What got you into it? You know, when the, when the Preds first came here in the late '90s, I went to one of the first games and I was you know I I knew hockey and a little bit but didn't know you know that much about it a buddy of mine was a, a songwriter from Toronto he's like you know we have a you can go skate at the rink here you can go jump on a, a, a beer league team anytime you want to so I, I grabbed some of his gear and started playing and 
The funny thing is, when I first started playing hockey, I was in a – yeah, there we are, the ice holes. Like, you guys have some great footage. Wow. We were uh, – I start there I am. We start off in a B team. Oh, you know? wow. Oh, that's a nice hit. Are we, are and, we full uh, contact out here? Play, that's impressive. Now, 20 years later, I'm playing for a C team because the hockey's gotten so good. Even though I've gotten better, I feel like, the hockey here has gotten so much better. Um, I'm, I play actually <laughs> – down on the C League, but uh, it's I just kind of got into it. And then I made the mistake of getting my son into it. You know, I was very competitive with him. I was like, I got him on skate before he's 18 months old. And and now I kind of took about 10 years off from skating because he skates so much. And I travel all around with him and do the whole rink dad thing. But here recently, really in the last like, yeah, this is a couple months ago. In the last like, I'd say three months, I've really gotten serious about it. I'm skating. Yeah, I skated this morning at 6 a.m. with him. I just decided to jump in on his private lessons. I'm paying for them. So I'm like, guess what? You got a new partner in your private lessons, me. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing private lessons with him in the morning before school. Uh, there's a bunch awesome. of it. ex-NHL players live out here, and there's a, a kind of a, a, a skate at a, a guy's barn uh, south of town. He has some ice on his, on his property. So I get a chance to skate with those guys. Um, a bunch of great Andy Sutton, Mike Fisher, Bobby Ryan. Um, Dave Backus is out there. Uh, it's a pretty stellar lineup of, of guys um, that I get to kind of putz around with. And then I go play my beer league, and I feel like a superstar. But uh, <laughs> I'm getting a chance to play a lot of hockey living here. And uh, it's just, I don't know, people just love the sport. I, I feel like it's just going, it's just expanding so much in the South. Yeah, your little guy was moving nice out there. It doesn't right? even matter which one he was. They were they were all moving pretty good. So that was yeah, impressive. Was. It looked like uh, fun there. Hey, tell us a little bit. You got to give us a little tour here because uh, I see a Stanley Cup there in the background. Oh, was, yeah. that a, was that a yeah. uh, gift for Knox? And uh, give us a little tour of the garage oh, this here. This garage is pretty cool. Ball. Yeah, wow. this is the garage ball. ball here. So we got the, uh, the the wall set up and, the, and you got, of course, the tarp behind me there. And then uh, this is an Edmonton Oilers uh, locker that Ryan Smith gave me. He was out here. What? Yeah. He also, Smith, he also gave me that bag, too. Well, that was on my crap lineup. But he gave me one of his Oilers bags. We, we do love the Oilers around here. And uh, this is how it has all my number ones on it. So it's like a cup with my number one songs. Oh, my. Um, oh wow. That's that is so awesome. cool. And then uh, this is kind of cool. This is We met Bedard one night. So there's uh, my son hanging out with all the guys. Nick uh, Flino and our Tyler Tyler Johnson's a good buddy, uh, so that was kind of a fun night. Uh, but anyway, this is the garage where we spend a lot of time and shoot a lot of pucks. That is so impressive. You called it the garage mall. That's great. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so okay. I'm. Oh, sorry. I'm the only one who hasn't met you out of this group, but I believe my dad has. This is kind of a like you're like the Kevin Bacon right now of hockey and country okay. music. So your gravel and gold tour continues on April 19th in Vancouver. We're going to go back to 2017. Your show in Vancouver. You're obviously big into aviation. My dad used yes. to work for Cessna and this is him on stage with you for your final number getting drunk on a plane, so it was with a bunch oh of customers. <laughs> yeah, that's your dad? Uh, well, yeah, his name is Marky Mark. That's his government name, yeah. and uh, yeah, that's the footage that he shot. Oh my gosh, that's so great. Yeah, I, um, so I, I do, I, I'm, I fly a lot, and I have actually a song called Drunk on a Plane, and we closed the show with that song, and apparently that night I brought a lot of people up on stage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I probably had that pilot. I had a little too much, definitely a little too drunk that night. Uh, drunk on a plane, <laughs> that song. But yeah, I used to have this plane, this fuselage that would come out onto the stage, and I'd dress as a pilot, and I'd bring uh, someone else to be the co-pilot. And then by the end of the night, any guests and friends I had would walk out through the plane onto the stage. So that, that must have been what was going on there. But yeah, I headed back out of Vancouver for a little bit, um, planning to show up there with with Luke Bryan. Uh, but yeah, tell your dad I, I said hi. That's pretty awesome. I will. He's watching right now. Thank you so much for that. Thanks, Marky Mark. <laughs> <laughs> we saw that you're wearing a Canucks jersey, so we won't tell anyone in Nashville or Edmonton. Uh, I, you know, I like, I just like, I, uh, you know, I love, I love the Preds, obviously, and I like the the, the Yotes, just being from Arizona. But I like a lot of teams. I, I don't really, you know, we we I like a lot of players, and they, they move around from team to team. So uh, there's, you know, we, we love the Edmonton, we love the Oilers too. We we follow them a lot. And, uh, of course, my son loves loves Chicago because he loves uh, Bedard and. You know, we just, we love the sport. So you can, you can tell anybody that I'm wearing a Canucks jersey. It's okay. <laughs>
how can you not? Before we say goodbye, uh, we want everyone to check out your new cover of American Girl and your upcoming yeah. summer gravel and gold tour. Anything else you want to plug while you're on? No, I appreciate that. Uh, thanks for the airtime and you make me look like a big star around here at the, uh, the, the <laughs> Music City Marauders, the team my son plays for here in Nashville. And uh, so thank you guys. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you. And you're going to give us a lot of street cred with our friends oh, yeah. and family yep. who are fans. So thank you so uh, much, Dirks. We appreciate you. Thank you. Lauren, you got into the school I tried to go to. I tried to go to Boulder. I didn't get in. So what? You, you'll always have that on me. So. Oh, huge mistake on their part. We can make <laughs> you an honorary there. buff. She did? Yeah, I, I couldn't get in, so I went to Vermont. But my roommate was Tim Thomas, which was pretty cool. That's wow. a story. What? <laughs> this <is> crazy. We <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> could talk all day. We need to have you on for the full yeah. two hours. Yeah, we need to make uh -huh. sure we can get you back on. It was an absolute uh, pleasure. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks, sir.